guys, Malachi here. Hopefully you're not crooked. Um, getting cat behind me. Uh, I think I told this whole story in the video I filmed when I was outside, but I'm not sure if I did. So I went out to give my treats to the critters, my apples. They were my litha apples. And then um, I brought some kale out. It's the last kale I can bring out until I get paid and I buy more kale. Um, and those were the last of my apples. So um, I went out and when I went out, there was a, a robin on the ground, but it didn't fly off. And I was like, certainly not afraid of people, is he? And um, he had the male markings, you know, they're a little duller. Um, still pretty though. And I was like, well, hello. He turned around and looked at me, just looked me right in the eyes. I was like, oh, I'm commuting with nature. This is so great. And so I was like, hi, how are you? And he went, chirp, chirp, and talked to me. And I was like, oh my God, that's the cutest thing ever. So I was like, and then he would go, chirp. And I'm like, this is so cute. I cannot even stand it. And so um, it was adorable. And so um, I was like, do you want some apples? And so I threw some apples kind of the other way and it didn't move. I threw some the other way and it did move. And I'm like, is Robin like just really not afraid of people or is it kind of blind? <laughs> or I'm starting to wonder about this Robin. Um, and I threw a piece of apple and it accidentally almost hit it and it landed like boom right in front of it and it just looked down at the apple and looked at me and I'm like what is going on um and uh so I'm all I'm like what is going on with this robin so I slowly approach it because I want to put apples by the fence line and kind of in the brush and around tree buddy because I'd already put some around um the, the main tree my favorite tree and put some by what I call the natural fairy door there um, and it didn't move and then it kind of peeped and started hopping and I thought well that's strange and so I was spreading and then I realized that's a baby bird and I thought oh no because um, and I'm pretty sure I talked about this in the video but um, they fall out of nest here occasionally because it gets windy and it knocks them out um, but he looked pretty well grown and he flapped his wings and he kind of took off a little. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I'll take care of you. And so I was talking to him very quietly. I'm like, it's going to be okay. I'm going to put some apples here in the brush so you can hide. I said, now look out because we have cats and we have dogs and they'll try to hunt you. So you have to hide in the brush. I'm like talking to the bird. And I'm like, stay here. We have some pecans in my house. I think you'll like those. So I'll go get the pecans. I said, let me just feed the bunnies. So um, by this point, he's getting kind of scared, like, you know, cause I'm putting stuff out and he's kind of hopping. And cause I had to go by the holes in the fence to feed the rabbits, um, which didn't all get by the holes in the fence, but the rabbits will get to the kale. They, cause they don't come out till it's almost dark. Um, that's the only thing I can figure that's digging under the fence is rabbits. Um, so, and the, the kale is always gone. So something is eating it. And the only thing I can think that eats kale is bunnies. So, um, I just love the bunnies we have here too. They're so cute. They're really little. We have tiny bunnies. They're very cute. They have little ears. Um, so anyway, this adorable little baby Robin is hopping and he gets, uh, kind of close to this tree and this big robin, a mama robin flies down and looks at me and looks at the baby and like chirps at it, and pecks at it. And the baby takes off with the mama and flies up into the tree. And I was like, I was like, where'd it go? I was like, oh, it flew into the tree. I said, that's fantastic. It's not stuck on the ground, it can fly. And I was like, wait a minute. And I realized that they must really, really like those apples. See, last night I didn't put any out because it got too dark um, by the time I cut up my litha apples for me to safely go in that area because um, you really can't be seen back there. It's just not a safe area. 
uh, to put the apples out. Besides that, there wouldn't be any birds till the next day and they wouldn't be very fresh. So, blech. Um, so I was like, I think I just got played by a baby bird. And sure enough, I kind of sat there watching and I walked kind of over and I could hear squawk, 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 squawk. And I'm like, I'm not going to hurt your baby. And then, um, I guess I was hearing the baby because I saw the mama bird come and land on the fence with a giant grub <laughs> and then fly into that tree. And it was almost like the mama bird was trying to keep the baby bird away from the junk food. It was so funny. It was like, you are not going to eat on the ground and eat apples. You are going to eat up here in the nest first and you are going to eat a grub and you are going to like it. It was so funny. I just absolutely was just laughing. It just absolutely cracked me up that, um, that this baby bird was on the ground making sure I was putting apples out. Um, I had heard birds liked them, but wow, I guess they really like them. Um, that mama bird's <laughs> probably gonna dive bomb me the next time I go out there. I'm wondering the next time I go out there if that little baby bird's gonna be on the ground again waiting for the apples. That just tickled me. You know, because probably with him learning to fly, the mama bird's probably taking him down to the ground. And, um, you know, eating the apples together. But it just was so funny when she came back with that grub. That just cracked me up to no end. I was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> You're gonna eat your healthy food first. <laughs> eat the grub. <laughs> it was so funny. So that was my interesting moment for the day. It, it really cheered me up when I went out there and that happened because, um, I had kind of a down point in the day and that just uh that just really cheered me up and don't look at them because i i mean look at them but i just painted them so i have to clean the edges off of my fingers where i've gone off the edge the way my fingers are shaped i always get it around the edge on the fingers and it just cleans right it actually just peels right off but i bought new nail polish it's called marvelous uh, by sinful as like kind of a cheer up because I'm throwing away quite of my nail polish quite a bit of my nail polish I need to go back through it and come to terms with the fact that even more of it needs to be thrown away because it's very old so some of it's like two years old so um, I'm getting replacing the stuff that I really love and then getting some new stuff and I love this deep purple color I thought it was pretty I tend to wear dark nail polishes or like um, dark pinks, um, but mostly dark purples and uh, blacks, um, things like that on my nail polishes. But anyway, the main thing was that crow, or not the crow, that robin, that just absolutely cracked me up. I can't wait to tell my dad about it. He'll get a kick out of it because um, they like watching birds. So anyway, um, so that's my story for the day. So I'll post the two videos and um, get those up for you guys and I'm off to watch some um, Netflix and kind of kick back for the rest of the evening and um, yeah so um, yeah that was that's it so anyway um, I hope you guys had a really wonderful day and blessed be take care bye oh gosh I can't reach it <laughs> it's too far